Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to convert decimals to percents. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. A decimal is any number that is less than 1, but greater than 0. A percentage is a number that represents how many out of 100 there are. So if we said something was 30%, that means that 30 out of 100 would be included in the number. Now because a percent is out of 100, the way you can convert from a decimal to a percent is to multiply times 100. This example gives us a decimal point of 0 0.29. In order to convert this decimal to a percent, we're going to take 0 0.29 and multiply it times 100. 0.29 times 100 is going to be 29 or 29 percent. Now a shortcut for converting decimals to percents is to take your decimal and move the decimal point two times to the right. So we take the decimal point and move it twice to the right. In the case of the 0.29 decimal, we'll leave the decimal point behind the 9 and it will change to a 29 percent. Now the shortcut of moving the decimal two times to the right is because you're multiplying times 100 and when you multiply by 100 because 100 has two zeros the zeros are going to move the decimal point to the right two times so one time for each zero. So the shortcut for converting decimals to percents is to just move the decimal two times to the right. Let's do a couple practice problems on our converting decimals to percents worksheet. The first problem on our converting decimals to percents worksheet gives us 0.65. Now we know in order to convert a decimal to a percentage we have to multiply our decimal times 100. When we multiply the decimal times 100, the decimal point is going to move one, two times to the right. In the case of 0.65, it's going to turn into 65, and we know that it's going to be 65%. We could also use the shortcut of taking our decimal point and moving it to the right two times to give us our percent which is going to be 65 percent as well. The last problem we're going to complete on our converting decimals to percents worksheet is number five. This problem gives us 1.75 as our decimal point. So in order to convert that to a percent we're going to multiply times 100. When we do that the decimal point moves two times to the right because of each zero and 100. We get our whole number of 175 and I know that's a percent because we multiplied times 100. So 1.75 as a percentage is 175 percent. We could also follow the shortcut of just taking our decimal point and moving it two times to the right to get a whole number so it's going to be 175 and I know that it's a percent because we multiplied times 100. When converting decimals to percents, it doesn't matter if you multiply by 100 or if you just move the decimal two times to the right, you're going to get the same solution. I hope this video was helpful for teaching you how to convert decimals to percents. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.